Okay, today I'm going to show a quick demo of our Experience Cloud component and how to configure and set this use case up. So I've got two demo paths. One is a static Slack channel that is dedicated to this account. Um, and so when someone from Experience Cloud um, logs into this page, they will see this um, uh, component where they can send messages um, to this channel directly. So right now I'm logged in as an Experience Cloud user and you can see my handle is Hannah Demo with my avatar. And when I type a message into this, um, into our Lightning Web component and say, hi, I need some help. And that will post directly to a channel that is um, underpinning this, which is a Slack channel. Um, I relabeled this your account team, but in the back end, what you can see is we have a Slack channel dedicated to this, this, um, this, this component that is surfaced in Experience Cloud. And so when <clears throat> people interact either from Slack or, or uh, Salesforce, so I now will switch roles to Ryan and I will say happy to. That will post as me and we'll see that update here in real time in our live chat experience here in Experience Cloud. Same thing if I'm, um, I'll still be Ryan, um, on the, now I'm on the account page in Salesforce. I can see the entire conversation history as well and say, hello, um, Salesforce. And that will post again so that we can see that directly from the Experience Cloud page. So this is a um, living, um, fully uh, cert, uh, scannable um, channel that is dedicated to this account. The other, that's, that's part one of the demo. The other one we hear quite commonly is maybe around cases. And so um, let's say there is a create case mechanism on the Experience Cloud page, and now you wanna have a live chat experience inside of Experience Cloud. So we'll say help with logging in. And so I've configured this to create a case and spin up a channel and add the team to it. And so <clears throat> it's just created me a new case, 1020. And when I open that, we have a dedicated channel and added our team to it. And again, I'm posting as Hannah to say, help. Now, um, what's nice about this implementation is Hannah does not have to have a Slack license in order to send that message. We are proxying her profile in as the central app. And so um, to make that point clear, if we come to the Slack channel, we can say it says Hannah Demo. We've inserted her um, Experience Cloud profile picture and name, but you can see here it says app. So this is really just overriding our central bot app with this person's credentials. So Hannah does not need to have a Slack license in order to start interacting with the team. She can, we can configure it so that um, uh, authorized Slack users will, who have a Slack login can use their full profile within the Experience Cloud, but oftentimes we hear that's cumbersome. Okay, so um, those are the two um, things I wanna show. So this is a dynamic channel that is set up to um, be created alongside with the case being created. And then we have our um, home screen, which has a static page assigned to it. So how did I set all this up? Let's walk through that process. Okay, so I have some base assumptions here is one that you've installed the Centro app into your Slack workspace and have connected it um, using our standard um, setup instructions. Um, when you set this up, um, you should have the Centro app also installed inside of Salesforce. So there's two apps, one for Slack and one for Salesforce. And in the Centro app, I'm assuming that you have um, installed and configured that. So that's a different guide. You can re uh, There's links to um, on our support page to set all that up. So I'm assuming that's set up. I'm also assuming you have an Experience Cloud or um, page set up already or a site set up. So let's go straight into Builder. Um, actually, before we go into Builder, we do have some um, CSP settings we need to um, set up. So if you search in the uh, quick search for setup, you see CSP trusted sites. 
um, there, there's a, a document on our support page that lists out exactly how this should go. So just type in Experience Cloud. You'll see we have some CSP trusted sites. And this is to allow the avatar and name to pass through. So we need those four. And if you were to add those, you can see you just hit new trusted site, give it a name, give it um, the URL here. And then I just go ahead and check all of those um, and then save and then add the other three. So that's how you add the CSP trusted sites. Now on the um, building experience, um, if you go under components, we have a Centro component um, called Centro Single Conversation, and you'll drag that um, anywhere you want on the page. And it will prompt for some design time configuration. So in the, in the case of the static um, page, you'll want to grab a single Slack channel ID um, and how to do that is you'll go to your, <clears throat> your page here and copy the channel ID and go ahead and copy that and <clears throat> paste it in. So you can see it's trying to update and connect to that channel. Uh, you can give it a different label your cohort and you can see here it says require user auth and that means anyone typing a message into the channel has to have a slack user um, and they'll be prompted to log in um, and we'll uh, grab their refresh token and then be able to post messages as that slack user if you don't want that experience and, and um, just allow them to post as themselves using their user profile and central will on behalf of the user post in the central bot just to go ahead and check that that's it for this um, use case <clears throat> for the um, for the other use case around dynamic channels so let's go to the case detail I've set up a flow um, a screen flow that um, prompts the user to um, create the um, case. You don't have to do it that way, but you'll need some mechanism to essentially tie the case record to the Slack channel. Um, I'll show you the flow I used, um, but what you'll need is a um, custom field <clears throat> on the case that we can refer to in the Experience Cloud as our um, ID to pick up which Slack channel got created. So in this case, I have a custom field called case requester. I exposed it on the page layout. You don't have to, you can hide that field, um, but it does need to have um, uh, visible access from a programmatic uh, when you set up that field so that we can write to it and read from it. Okay, so when you are configuring that component, again, you'll drag it onto the page. Um, and instead of, the, you'll leave the static ID blank. In this case, I unchecked require user auth. And um, this is that requester field, the API name of that requester field. Here is the case object name. Um, if it's a custom object, you'll need to use the API, not the label for the name. And then um, just leave this record ID and these brackets exactly as you see here. And this will instruct the um, component to go against the case object, find this field and plop in whichever current record ID we're on in Experience Cloud and pass it through. So uh, what does the flow look like? So hopefully that makes sense from the setup. Then let's take a look at how we're setting that channel ID. Okay. So in this case, I actually create the case and add the channel um, in the same flow. You could obviously have a different, create the case in a separate flow using the standard out of box methods. And then you could also create a component that says, start a live chat agent and expose that as, a, um, as, a, uh, as an action. 
Um, so it's up to you how you want to approach that, but um, in this case, I just create the case and create the channel at the same time. Um, so we have a screen flow that's simply um, just collecting some information from the user about what the issue is. We go ahead and create the case. Um, and then I do some set variables where I set the Slack members um, as a collection variable. I add my team here. Um, this is hard coded for this example. If you have a table structure of which team members should be added always for new channels, or if you have a team associated to the account, you can always reference those. Um, but you'll need a collection variable to add. Um, and then, and that's about it for this. And so we will then use the Centro create channel component to give it a channel name. Um, I'm using a formula to give it that structure of a prefix with the case and then the number. Um, then I add the Slack members to add. And then I manually assign the output um, channel ID as a variable, okay? So then I post um, the case to a thread internally so that people know that a new case was created. That's kind of a separate uh, feature to you know, post that some stuff happened in this channel. Um, in this case, I'm doing it ephemerally. So um, I want to inform the team that um, the case came in, but not the external user. So you can see I'm passing in ephemeral Slack member ID. Um, that's kind of outside the scope of this, this uh, this demonstration, but be aware that that's possible. And then we update the case and we set that case requester field to our new channel ID. Um, that is it. So um, for setup, it's pretty simple and quick. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in your Slack Connect channel with our team or email us at support at centro.rocks. Thanks.